Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing very, very well. In today's video, I really just want to sit down with you guys and kind of Google chat and talk about what Monster High doll shoes that I want to see from dolls translated into real life. And obviously a lot of these shoes like it just physically cannot probably be made into um, real life or they just like would not be like, you know, functional or anything. So this is all just for fun. But there is actually a new Monster High shoe collection kind of going on that kind of inspired this video. It is a collaboration between Monster High and RYU Shoes, and I don't know how to pronounce that name, I'm very very sorry, but we have a little sneak peek as of right now, so I'm filming this and it'll be posted the next day, so I'm like, you know, so right now we've only seen these two shoes, so I will probably have seen the new ones whenever they come out beyond this video, but um, super super pumped for these, so the first shoe that we have is just this cute little like um, it's very Monster High. I don't know how to describe the print, but it's, like, something that they use a lot on Monster High media, like, for in marketing and stuff back in the day, and I love it so much. We also have, like, little, like, skulls of the other characters, and we're also going to be seeing the Draculaura original boots in, like, real life size, which I think is so iconic and cool because Dracula's boots are super just iconic, especially for, like, Monster High fans who aren't, like, into the dolls. They obviously are, obviously are gonna know the iconic shoes, so... I just think it's cool, like, with this collaboration coming to mind, that we're finally getting Monster High shoes in real life, um, like, replicas almost, um, so I just want to give you guys, like, my list of dolls that I have that I think would just be really, really, really cool to kind of just see in real life, and the first one that I want to do is I want to do some more of the basic dolls. If we're getting Dracula shoes, I want to see <laughs> Laguna shoes in real life, yep. Um, these shoes are just so iconic. I love them so much. I know they're just, like, very basic flip-flops, but, like, these are, like, the cute hot pink ones. They're platforms. Again, they're not, like, anything crazy, but, like, to me, this is my list. I get to choose. I would love to see these shoes in real life. I know, again, they probably do exist in real life somewhere, because, like, these are just flip-flops, but I love how platformy they are. I just love them so much, and I'm a Laguna fan to the day I die, so... I would love to wear these. Like, this would be the shoe that I would buy if they ma made them in the collection. Like, look at how gorgeous they are. Obviously, it's not going to focus because, like, she's a very, you know, light character. But I would love to see these um, shoes just in real life. I would wear the heck out of those. But also from the Wave 1 core line, I would love to see, obviously, Miss Claudine Wolf's shoes. I think we are probably going to get the core three shoes in this collaboration. But I would love to see these shoes in just real life. And again, it doesn't have to be, like, beyond this collaboration. But, like... I think these shoes are so cool. They're very, again, just basic wedges and everything, but I love how, like, cool they are. They're very, like, demonia, you know? Um, obviously, that's kind of, like, they were inspired by, is, like, that mall goth aesthetic, but I love them so much, and I love to see people, like, wear these. They probably do exist in real life already, but, like, I love these so much. They're so classic as well, like, Claudine show, duh. But since Claudine is obviously, like, the it fashionista of Monster High, I think it's definitely justice that she gets another pair, and I think the school's out, wave two i guess monster high dolls i guess this is wave two right big um not thinking um i would love to see her school's out shoes because these are super killer like literally killer like these are some of the best monster high shoes i think in the entire existence of monster high and like this giant claw on the heel is so crazy cool to me and it's like shiny it's gold and like even like the zipper details would be super really fun for like you know high fashion elements not like obviously like everyday wear but like I love the platform and the heel. Like, if they did this crazy cool heel, oh my god, so many heads would turn. And I just think this is a very interesting shoe in general. It's a very, like, statement piece, and that's kind of what it's, you know, Claudine's going for. I just love how busy they are, and, like, the cutouts are super, like, iconic. Like, I just don't know. Like, these are just some of those shoes that, like, Monster High did. And, like, it was crazy, because, like, no one was taking notes when these were coming out. Like, there was no other doll line that had shoes, to this day, anything close to this. And I'm going that, like, obviously, these are, like, my top, top, top ones. But, like, Monster High shoes are really, like, the, that ghoul. Like, I feel like there really is no one topping Monster High shoes. And even G3 can't top, you know, Monster High shoes. Like, G1, they ha they were killing it. But I also think it would be, you know, smart to have some older dolls. Because I think the older dolls were really, really, really good on the shoes. And I would love to see Miss um, Dawn of the Dance, Cleo's shoes. Because as a kid, I always loved these shoes so much. The Dawn of the Dance line was super fun for me. And I just think that they took so many risks on these in, like, particular. I love how, like, there's, there's like, a little, like, string with, like, a little pearl or gem in there. These are just super fun, and they're definitely, like, dancey, and I think these are kind of trendy for, like, now, so I could definitely see these being produced. And I think mine are a little bit, like, you know, dated, because, like, these were... This was a secondhand doll that I bought, so this isn't my first, um, Dawn of the Dance Cleo, but, like, 
I think this sh the color is supposed to be a lot richer and it's kind of faded on these ones. But even if they were like this like faded green, I think they're just super fun. And they're again, a statement piece. They were so unique at the time. I think they still are very, very unique. And there's just no topping it. Cleo had so many good shoes that I obviously had to include her a couple times on this list because the next doll that I had to obviously have is her Skull Shores doll, which is one of my favorites as well. These shoes are like really cool. I think Cleo, these would like honestly be so crazy in real life because it's just like, it's like a very basic heel, but like there's like a person on it. Like it's one of her servants holding the foot up, which I think for the backstory of Cleo was super, super fun and really, really interesting and cool because like obviously Cleo was like the it girl. She had like her servant. She had everyone doing stuff for her. So the fact that like there were like even like tiny ones on her shoes holding her heel up at like a perfect arch would be so fun. And I just think like the visual is so crazy cool. I could definitely see these in like a music video or something like, um, I don't know, or like a, you know, like a tour runway or something like I feel like. The idea of it's like a little person holding your foot up is cool and maybe they have it is a real thing and like you know not really you know up to date and everything but that would be fierce to see like a little person on a heel right skull shorts though had so many good dolls i had to obviously have another one um and there's probably more that i could include but these are just like my top two i think from skull shorts sorry laguna you're over there she needs to get her hair washed so she's not like she would be in this video if her hair was clean but i'm a bad doll collector I think Gulia shoes from the Skull Shores doll, and despite what you want to say about Skull Shores Gulia, we all know she was overstocked, and people have, like, trauma from her, I guess, but I think she's still a really, really fun doll, and she's definitely a central Monster High, in my opinion, and just going up, growing up with the brand, I always loved Skull Shores Gulia, even though she was very common, and I had two of her at the time. Um, I think she's so fun. I love these shoes as well. Like, they're, again, not that crazy detailed or anything. They're just, like, a simple red heel. It's kind of a holographic, or... Holog holographic is not the right word. Um, holographic, anographic, um, ho holo. Translucent is the word that I'm looking for. These are like a translucent red, but like I love like the little like blood splatters on her ankle. They're like so simple, but yet like, you know, from like afar, they look like a normal heel, but like I think at, up close, these are just super cool. And I could definitely see these at like a party or something. And even like, you know, dressing these up, I feel like they could add like, like you know, red gemstones on the blood and um like a black soul or something like i think these could be so cool and like the idea of like again like a blood splattered heel is fierce mama i love it so much but back to cleo and on to more swimwear i think the gloom and gloom beach doll has some fierce shoes she has these cute little like sandals and they're kind of again like they're made of like a pyramid mold and they're green i just love like the little toe ring thing i just think it's so fierce how they molded these shoes and how they have hold, held up so after so many years. I just think these are still some of the, the neatest shoes to ever exist. The fact that she's like walking on pyramid with like a jet, like a little diamond on her foot. Wow. And again, they're very, very simple shoes, but like they're so good and they're so cool. I love them so beyond much. I also wanted to shout out Miss Jennifer Long from the, um, what line is this? The um the circus line, Freak the Chic. God, this line is so irrelevant to, to, to be honest. Like in Monster High history, I forget about it all the time it's just like not something that i think about it's not a very impactful line to be honest but these shoes are so cool like i think these shoes for like a cosplay or something would be so beyond fierce they're very like i think this is kind of in trend you know this little like rib cage for the shoe i don't know but like the flames on the heel and like the, i think it's a dragon on there no just flames but like the flames are so fun and like there's like a little like mouth on the top of it you can kind of see it it's just so crazy cool. And again, it's kind of that really nice red color. So I feel like even this in like different colorways would be super crazy. And like, I don't know, like just like look at that. Like, are you not gagged a bit? Like, they're just so cool. Like, there's not much more to say about them. Like, they're just so detailed and intricate that like this would go so hard on a bigger scale because you could add so many more details, add so many more paint. I mean, obviously, like it would be not paint, but like it would be like different material. I just think like black in this design would be so beyond fierce. Um, and I also thought that like, Scarce Rochelle had some really cool shoes. This is Ghoul Chat Rochelle, and she used the same shoe mold. So, like, I'm including her because, like, my Scarce Rochelle was, like, all the way back up there, and I didn't feel like grabbing her. So, like, ignore that these are, like, blue. Pretend these are pink. Um, But I do have her, I promise. These were the funnest little, like, Rochelle shoe, I think, ever. Rochelle's not my favorite character. Um, She's not even my favorite out of the main, the four, four, three dolls. I don't understand her hype that much. I get she's pink, and she's French, and I love her. But she's not my favorite. But these shoes are so fun. Like, these shoes, like, they ate so hard. Like, the little, like, detailing in them, like, the swirls and, like, the 
delicacy that kind of went along with these shoes, which is so amazing. And I love it so much. I think she's just a really interesting character, even though I just said I hated her. I don't hate her, but um, I just think she's, like, interesting in the way that, like, her fashion is very, like, there's always, like, it's a very, like, simple, but it's also really detailed at the same time. Because, like, these shoes, they're not that, like, again, there's not much going on at, like, first glance. Obviously, it's exposed the house down. But, like, once you look at them more like, closely, there's just so much happening. And it's so fun and it's so interesting. And they were, again, really, really doing the thing in, um, what, 2012, 2013, 2014. These were the shoes. I think I'm contradicting myself a lot in this video, but it doesn't matter. But I also think that Voltage's Frankie would be a super cool little um, remix to do. Because these shoes, again, they're, like, a very, like, little, like, go-go boot almost. But, like, they have a really cool platform. And, like, the, like, this is, like, a science-y thing, I think, on the heel. And, like, the little, like electric bolts these are not like practical shoes but if these are made for like a cosplay wow they do so crazy like these are just so fun they're silvery they're blue they're exciting they have a lot of detail on them um i think these in like a bigger scale would be super cool i also think like this thing coming off like your foot is kind of trendy i think i've seen that on like butterfly shoes or something but these would be so fun i love them so much and i definitely think that no one talks about these shoes enough like they're very underrated in the terms of like the monster high franchise and the fans but like these are the shoes that, like, I think make the doll. Like, the doll is very boring in her own, you know, way. But, like, the shoes, it's what make it. It, it is what truly makes it. And I think the last doll that I want to talk about is... I think this is also a really underrated shoe mold. Mrs. LED from the Boo York series. This is, like, the Getaway Ghouls pack. <sighs> like, can y'all get into it, please? Like, can y'all, like, get into this? These shoes would not be, you know, anything more than, like, a couture runway or like a music video shoot or like an art piece or something like i just think these shoes are some of my favorite monster high shoes ever to exist like the fact that she's like so tall compared to like a regular one like she's a little bit taller after these shoes like they're, again they're both wearing platforms but like this just makes her so much taller maybe it is the ponytail but like i love i don't even know what's happening with them to be honest like i don't really know what the gag is i'm not like a rope technician or whatever but they're so futuristic and they're so interesting and i think if these are made in a real real scale with like chain details and laces and stuff and like not laces but like you know electric plated stuff like these and like a really cool like sh royal purple shiny um like electric plated thing i think it would be such a fierce shoe i think like couldn't you imagine like Nicki minaj in this or something like these are just stellar literally out of this world truly but kind of wrapping this video up I think it was a really, really fun kind of thing to just talk about Monster High shoes because these are just, like, the shoes that I love. I love doll shoes so much, but, like, Monster High just did it so well. And they're starting to do it better, I think, in G3. But G1 early days is just always going to be peak to me. It's always going to be so interesting. They had so much... You can tell the passion and love they had for these dolls back then. And it's just so fun to look back at and, like, get nostalgic over. And Because a lot of these shoes are nostalgic, like... Very, very nostalgic to just, like, look at Gloom Beach Cleo on my shelf. Um, so I think these would be fun to remake into real life. Maybe not the most practical. Maybe not, like, you know, the most marketable or anything. But I think limited quantity quantities of these for, like, you know, like a charity auction or something. I don't... I'm just making ideas. I don't know anything. But, like, I think that would just be really, really cool to, like, make these in real life shoes. And I just, like... I know cosplayers probably make some of these shoes. And, like, they're very talented on their own. But, like, I think... You know, like a fashion brand could maybe do another collaboration with Monster High and like make some of these because when I feel like a lot of the doll collaborations recently have been super boring and just kind of like based on nostalgia. So this new collaboration like thing with the new um, F R Y U shoe thing, I'll link their Instagram in the description because I think it's a hopefully by the time this is out, they'll have the full collection posted and all the you know prices and dates and everything of when stuff's coming out. I don't really know anything about it again. I've just seen it on Instagram today and I wanted to talk about Monster High shoes because again, I love them. So, um, I just think it's a really, really interesting idea to not, you know, slap, slap the Monster High logo on, like, a eye mask or something and, like, actually put effort into the collaboration and not just have, like, boring art. I'm saying that as if I'm not, I'm not wearing a Monster High you know, uh, Hot Topic sweatshirt, which is literally just basic art. But, you know, having cool collaborations like this is just super fun. I th that's really hypocritical of me. That's hilarious. I'm just wearing, like, reused art. But I think collaborations with the doll brands could be super nice. And especially Monster High in the case where they have a lot of unique and fun and fierce fashion. And obviously, you know, Hot Topic has done their own cute little thing. But, like, I want to get more. I think the shoes are, again, some of the most iconic pieces of Monster High dolls ever. And I feel like they're known for their shoes almost, kind of. At least I think that. 
Um, and I, because I remember like my grandparents always like, how did the dolls walk in their shoes? And like, is this normal shoes? These were not normal. Um, especially Ghouls or Cleo. But I could definitely make a part two and a part three and a part four and a part five of the, this video if you guys want to know more opinions and stuff. These are just dolls that I saw on my shelf today. And I'm like, these would be really fierce. And um, there's obviously a lot of more dolls that I don't own that have really, really fun shoes. So in the comments below, please let me know what your favorite Monster High shoes are that you'd love to see in real life. And let me know if you guys want to see a part two or three. I'm dying to know. It was a lot of fun, though, to cool chat with you guys and kind of talk and hope and everything and maybe manifest. Who knows? But yeah, thank you guys again, though. So, so, so much for watching today's video. I love you all so very much. Please have a fantastic night and keep it real. Keep it fierce. And I love you. Bye. Bye, everybody.